Good afternoon, Pisces. Welcome to my channel. You're here for your November reading, your monthly reading. Um, if you haven't been here before, please hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, give me a thumbs up. You'll be notified whenever I come on and I do mediumship readings, which is quite often a few, quite a few times during the week. We have a wonderful community here on this channel and people really interact nicely with each other. So I love to do my mediumship readings. Um, it's one of my favorite things where I bring through messages for your loved ones. But today we're going to do your monthly tarot reading. We're going to see how the energy is. Um, I have been taking the opportunity at the beginning of each of these readings um, for each of the signs to mention the chaotic energy we're coming into for November. It's really one of the most chaotic of the entire year. Uh, part of it is because of the election and the negativity that's around and how everybody is kind of like at each other constantly, this chaos. But it's also Mars in retrograde in Aries, which is the planet of violence. It's the planet of, of um, war. Um, all the things that we want to try to stay away from, okay? So if I can ask anything of all of you, I would ask you to please stay in your own lane this month, not to pay attention to the outskirts. If you want to protest, definitely protest, but keep it safe. No violence, no looting, none of that kind of stuff. I'm not saying that you would do that, but try not to stay, go near people that are going to be doing that because that is going to be happening this month, okay? We also have a couple of eclipses, which makes us very off balance and steady. It's eclipses that are c continued from June and July of this year, now November and beginning of December, okay? Um, remember, you always have the ability to react or to not react. So if somebody's coming at you with a barb, and something they want to poke you with and, and poke the bear, so to speak, and get you angry. And you're standing like this and you, you're not responding to them with any fist, right? They have no choice but to let it go. If he comes at you with a fist and you get react and get that fist going, you're, you're going to end up in a, in a quarrel. You're going to end up in a fight. So it's all how you, it's all, you can control this about how you react, right? We want to keep our high vibration going instead of this low vibration of where we are with the election, with everybody screaming and yelling at each other. You can just feel the tension when you go out. I, I know I can as an empath, and I'm sure many of you can as well. Um, so Pisces, really stay in your own lane, go with the flow this month, stay in that high vibration of caring and nurturing and loving and compassion. Right? Because we need so much more of that in this world. So if you can stay in your vibration, please do so. Um, and now we're going to get started with the monthly, your monthly tarot reading. I always start with a, um, I pull a card from the romance deck, whether it be for um, single or a couple. I mean single, if you're coupled or if you're single. Let me try that again. Um, I usually look for a card that's sticking out that's telling me, yes, I want to be pulled, and this card is doing that. And it the card that says it's safe for you to love, okay? And if you look at, there is a gentleman that's helping her on the horse. Um, the horse is bucking. He's anxious. He's anxious to get moving. But it's okay for you to turn around and see who it is who's helping you. Can you see in the picture that they're standing there? They're waiting for you. It's like she won't turn around. And this is saying, really, it's, it's okay. It's safe. You don't have to be afraid. You can open your heart. You can allow this person to come in. Okay, and that's important for you to know. Even if you're a long-term relationship and you've grown apart, is this the perfect time to restart with that relationship and see if you can make it better again, if you can make it worth salvaging and holding on to? Um, there's a lot happening in this card. Uh, it's, it's a busy card, but the safety and the opening of your heart, your heart chakra, to allow someone to come in is the most important message, okay? Now I'm going to pull three cards from the Wisdom Oracle. I always pull them for the collective, see where we stand, and then I'll pull the, the, the t one card for each of the five weeks in the month of November and see, see what happens for you. Pisces. Okay? Okay, so let's see what we have. I don't read the Oracle cards upside down, so let's see what we have. No place like home. So no matter where you go, you're going to be connected, is what I'm hearing. No matter where you go, you're always going to want to come home. It's your sanctuary. And I think Pisces feel they're most comfortable when they're at home. Um, I think that's important for you to remember, that no matter where you go, you still have the sanctity or the, of the sanctuary to come back home. Okay? And that's important, especially true this month. Happy, happy. What a lovely card. It's like the star card. Um, it's, it's all about... Um, 
being happy, allowing happiness to come into your life. Sometimes we, we forget that we have the right to be happy. Maybe we're feeling, um, you know, this Thanksgiving time and the holiday time is really hard. We're, maybe we're missing somebody that we lost um, this year from COVID or from something else. And it, it makes it really hard and makes us often feel guilty that we have the right to still feel happy. And if you think about it, your loved ones would only want you to be happy, right? They wouldn't want you to, to um, feel badly or to feel guilty. And I'm hearing to let that go if you can. Okay, Pisces? The last card I have is building blocks. So you're going to be building on something strong. This I don't know if it's it's building on something strong. I'm going to put this down a little bit. Building on something strong for your future, like your career, where you'll be making more money, or, or putting the building blocks together in your mind of where you want to go. Maybe you're deciding um, soon that you're going to be taking a new job. Maybe you decide you don't want to stay where you are. So you're building all these little um, areas of your resume that you can show off once you actually have an interview. Maybe it's building blocks that you're starting a brand new relationship, right? It's okay for you to love. It's safe for you to love. And if it is starting a brand new relationship, you're starting to put different pieces together of the kind of person you want to attract. And the best way to attract somebody with, is with a positive manifestation or a positive intention. Right? We just let go of this full moon yesterday, letting go of things that no longer serve us. Now we're moving into 11-1, which is a 1-1-1 vibration. All magic, all manifesting. So instead of saying, I really want a new relationship to the universe, because they're going to just hear, I really want, I really want, I really want, you're not putting out that vibration. What you want to say is, universe, I'm so grateful that you're bringing me in this wonderful person that I'm going to love and that's going to love me just as much. So see how that sounds so different? You're just turning it from a negative, I want, I want, to a positive of your being so grateful. And the universe respects that. You know, where you put your energy is what you're going to get back. So the universe will really respect that, okay? So Pisces, that's important for you to know. I People often ask me how I shuffle my cards. Um, I've had that question numerous times, so I'm going to let you know. You see how all these cards go nicely in together, and I can easily push them in together. That's how I know it's okay to continue shuffling. Once they stop, or once I get a card that's a little bit off, then I know, and I'll show you when I get to that point, then I know it's time to stop, okay, to stop shuffling. I haven't got there yet. Well, kind of. You see the cards at the top? If I push, they're not going to follow. They're not going to go in the way I want them to go in. Okay, so that tells me these cards are shuffled where they need to be shuffled. And look at the bottom of the deck. You have the, you have the Pisces. Your overall energy is that of the Tower. So there's a lot of unexpected things. So maybe, like I said, stay out of that chaos. Stay out of that um, Mars and Aries and conjuncting with Uranus. That unexpected. That unexpected that's coming in. Right. So let me pull some cards. I'm going to pull one card for each of the weeks. And then we'll talk about them. See what the month of November holds for you. Okay. Interesting cards. Okay. Um, right off the bat, you have two pentacle cards, which are lovely. You have the uh, page of pentacles. This card always makes me think, because of all the green, including, you see the green and the peacock's feathers there? The green from the leaves, the green on his hat. He's holding a huge pentacle, so it is about money. But whenever I see this much green in his costume and on the floor, it makes me think to call an Archangel Raphael. Archangel Raphael is the angel of healing. So maybe this first week is is you um, really worried about somebody. Um, maybe, maybe you're worried about their health, so you're calling an Archangel Raphael to go to them and to sit by them and to keep them safe. Maybe it's it's you you're worried about. Maybe you're going through some kind of a test. Um, it doesn't have to happen that way, okay? I'm just giving you examples. I call in Archangel Raphael every night, help me get a good night's sleep, or every day to help the day go really smoothly, right? And you can do any of those things. So it's important for you to know that it's okay to call in Archangel Raphael. Big money here, though. He's holding a big money card. So there's lots, this first week, you're going to notice how much money you have, how much you're bringing in. Maybe you're going to get a bonus. Maybe you're going to be getting a raise. Maybe you're going to be moving to another job that offers you more money. But either way, he's holding this huge pentacle. And you can see the difference because this is a pentacle too. This is a knight of pentacles. But you see, his pentacle is, is smaller. His shield is smaller than the one you're holding. So this is big money. This is also... Um, Money, it is pentacles, and you're staying in the same the same thread of money or abundance of um, love and life and, and destiny or good health. But you have a blockage here. Look, you have this across the road. 
you have this stick that's laying across the road that you're going to have to get off your horse, put down your sword, I mean, put down your pentacles, put down your shield, and actually move something out of the way. So something is standing in your way of moving forward, Pisces, okay, with regards to this abundance. So it may be that you're not manifesting it correctly. Maybe turn the affirmation around, turn the intention around, so you're manifesting in a positive way, right? It could also be that you're calling in Archangel Raphael. Maybe there's somebody that you're worried about. Um, look at all the greens again in this picture. Archangel Raphael is the green, that green energy surrounding yourself with that green light. Could just be you need to get off the horse, move that what's blocking you, and you get to continue to move forward, okay, towards all this money, using all this money. It's a nice week for that. Next is the Five of Swords. I mean the Five of Wands. The Five of Wands is often the fight card. And the, in the... Um, the right away deck, it's shown exactly the same way. But you notice that they're all wearing different colors, so they're all working independently of each other. Um, that's one thing I always notice. They all have a different idea. They all have a different way they want to handle things. Maybe this is at work. Um, but you'll notice none of the pen, none of the wands are actually touching anybody. Nobody's getting hurt in this card. So it may be a, a war of words. It may be just that you're feeling uncomfortable with the people you're working with or the, of the people that are around you in your li everyday life in your relationships and you're needing to take a step back. Be the person, maybe you're the person in yellow here, he seems to stand out to me. Maybe you're the person that's going to take a step back and hold your wand and put it down and then everyone else will do the same. Again, we're still, this is week three and we're still looking at that, that fighting, right? Open your hand and don't react so they have no way out. No way out. They don't have a way to fight if everybody puts down their sword, uh, their wand. Who are they going to fight, right? So that's week three. Before we have the Page of Wands. Um, this is a messenger. Pages are almost always somebody younger, and it's usually a messenger that's bringing in a message of, of good luck, of good hope, um, of go finishing, getting to the fruition, getting to the finishing of something you've been working on. Um, whether you've been working on it at work, or maybe this has to do with a romance. He is still walking and he's moving forward. You can still see that the way his muscles are, are working in his leg. He is still moving forward. So it's not like you're stuck or you're stopped. You are looking forward, and he's looking at this pentacle like, I'm almost there. I'm almost at the end. I'm getting there. Okay, you're getting, you're soon going to be at the fruition. You're soon going to be at that um, that place where um, you've completed everything you need to complete at this particular job, at this particular, um, maybe it's a particular job you've been assigned at work, and you're finally getting there. You're finally getting to the end. But either way, you're working hard this week. Remember, it is Thanksgiving week. So maybe it's following the light. Maybe it's leaving a chair open for someone that you lost this year if you did. And again, I'm very sorry if you did. Um, maybe it's um, following the light and um, being the person that puts everything together. Maybe the person that you might have lost used to put everything together for, for, for Thanksgiving or for the holidays. And now that job is going to fall on other people. Maybe you're taking an active role because you are moving forward in this. So it can be looked at a number of different ways, but you always have the free will to change it, right? You always have the free will to stay in that high vibration and not let things bother you. Um, your, your final card, the fifth week, is the Nine of Wands. So we've gone, um, well, we were in the Page of Wands, and now you're at the Nine of Wands. You're finishing exactly what you started. You're finishing the job you started. You've worked really hard. This is the week after Thanksgiving, and now you're back at work, and you're working very hard again. Maybe once you get all these lined up, because 10 is the, the cup of fruition, right? 10 is the final outcome where you're reaching. So these are nine pentacles. Maybe you just need to get the 10th one, and then you're ready to move on. Ready to move on to another job within your company, maybe. Maybe you're going to get a promotion. Maybe you're ready to move on to a whole other job and take that leap of faith. But right now he's working hard. He's focusing on what he's doing. And that's what you're going to be doing in that fifth week. Okay? So remember the tower is still an energy that's hanging around you. So expect the unexpected when you get the tower. It doesn't mean it has to be negative. Just expect the unexpected. Maybe you're expecting only four people on Thanksgiving and you get six. You know, that, it could be something as easy as that. It doesn't necessarily mean it has to be somebody that, something that's horrible. Um, it's something that causes sparks, fire, energy, but it doesn't have to be something negative. Okay? So just remember that. Um, I hope you enjoyed your reading, Pisces. It really was, it looks like it's going to be a really nice month ahead. Um, watching, watch for that tower. Okay? Watch for that unexpected. Um, but know that you have full control over it. You don't have to be the one that... Um, that takes on the brunt of anything. Okay, you can share that with other people. Again, stay with that really high vibration. Stay in your own lane. I hope you have a wonderful Thanksgiving. 
And um, like I said, hit the like button if you liked it, hit the subscribe button and the notification button, and you'll be notified when I come on to do my mediumship readings. I would love to have you. Have a great month.